Hi, I'm here at one of my local food markets near where I live in Thailand. In my last video I was doing a street food tour to show you 10 foods that I think you should try if you come to Thailand. In that video you would have seen me eating a barbecued fish curry, two types of Thai sausages, a couple of different styles of Thai barbecued squid, a prawn and vegetable cake, and a steamed fish curry. This is part two of that video, so let's go and find some food. There is so much delicious food at markets like these. dim sum this is something you should try I've eaten this in quite a few of my videos so I won't bother with it today but it is really tasty we barbecued and fried chicken this is definitely something you should try the Thai fried chicken is delicious as is the barbecued one this is a southern style barbecued chicken it's got a peanut sauce Thai sweets, fried insects, as well as food, there's all sorts of drinks. Ones are on ice. I saw them making these before, they've got some sort of noodle in them. I'm getting a bit thirsty, so I'm going to grab one of these. It's just a Thai orange juice cup. Comes in its own little carry bag, up and cup. It's got a straw. It's very icy. Just what I needed. Sweet, cold, very refreshing. Right next door to the orange juice shop. It's my favourite fried chicken. So we've got bits of chicken fillet, spicy bits, and chicken drumettes there. I'm gonna grab one of these bits of chicken fillet. Don't want the sauce. It's gonna be 10 baht for that. All these pieces are 10 baht. Uh, up on my cup. Lots of fried sticks there. Lots of sweets. Donuts and tasty looking cupcakes and things. It's another popular Thai sweet. It's very, very impressive. Filled with some sort of sweet bean mix, fried banana, more sweets. What I'm gonna get is one of these. These are a little fried vegetable cake. She's filled with chives and things. Cup. We've also got a steamed version of them here. So number six is the fried chicken. I had some friends that came here a couple of years back and got them to try it. We did a comparison with KFC. There was absolutely no comparison. This is so much better. The outside's very crispy and light and the chicken inside is really moist and tender. 
Oh yeah. This is another one. I, I eat this pretty regularly. Probably could eat this every day. Absolutely delicious. All the chicken in Thailand is really good. Barbecued chicken, fried chicken, there's heaps of different styles of both. Always good, always moist and tender. Thais definitely know how to cook chicken. Do try it out if you're in Thailand. Number seven, these guys. The little fried vegetable cakes. These again, eat these pretty regularly. They're really yummy. I met some of my subscribers at a market a few weeks ago and I suggested they try these. They really loved them. So here goes. Yeah. Never fail to please. They got chives and maybe some spring onion in there. They have a very strong flavour of chives. They're really, really delicious. The outside shell is a bit crunchy on the outside, but kind of soft on the inside. And they're slightly sweet as well. Definitely another one of my favourites. That one, number seven. This shop wasn't here when I came past before, but it's definitely something that's worth trying. I'm going to put this one in at number eight. This is fried pork. Pick the pieces that you want. Try and find the meaty bits. Just cook with the skin, fat and all. This can be a bit fatty for western taste, but all of those bits that I grabbed are pretty much meat. But then she weighs it and cuts it. And I'm getting a purple sticky rice with that as well. Chops it. Goes into the paper. And she add some fried onion with that as well. This is another one that's very, very popular. The tips are 70 baht for that. So the next thing I've got is my fried pork and the black sticky rice. It's called Kauni Al Dam, which means black sticky rice. It's actually purple. So to eat this, I'll open up the pork. Then I'm going to grab a bit of the sticky rice, put some onion with it, and also some of the pork. Here goes. Yeah. Another awesome dish right there. That sticky rice is especially sticky. The pork is kind of dry, but very porky and really delicious. It's a little bit salty. Overall, big thumbs up for that one. Curry and soups. And this one has recently become popular in Thailand. This is an oven type thing. There's charcoal down the bottom there. It's cooking chicken, so. I've only had this once before, but it was delicious. I've also got barbecue pork there, it's cooked the same way, so I think I'm going to grab that one. Oh. Oh. That's it. Okay, so 80 baht for half a chicken. All this food from Isan in the northeast, it's one of my favorite types of food. I decided to come back for the catfish. Any taro come? Hoxip, Hoxip, okay. Oh. 60 baht for that catfish. Any come? Wrapped in a banana leaf. The lady here has offered me to try some of her sometime. Sometime, are I? So, ah. Mm. Mm. Very tasty. So we got half a chicken there for 80 baht. Looks pretty good. Smells pretty good too. 
these oven type things have started popping up all over Thailand. I had a different version of this once before which was cooked in a clay oven. It was really yummy. This one, as I said, does look really tasty. So I'm going to break a bit of that chicken fillet off. There you go, that looks really good. Mm. Wow. It's a little bit sweet, very moist and juicy. I love it. I didn't actually get any of the skin. The skin looks like it's got some pepper or something on the outside, so I'll try a bit of that. Yeah, wow. That is awesome. The skin likewise is a bit sweet. I can highly recommend this. And I've also tried the pork version of this as well, which is really good too. So while we're on the theme of barbecue foods, this is the next one. My catfish. It's on a skewer, wrapped in a banana leaf. I ain't gonna eat the whole thing now. I'm gonna take this one home. But, if I can get into it, I'll break some of that off so I can give it a taste. This is something that I really do enjoy. I could eat this pretty much every day as well. Oh, I've got quite a bit of the skin there and also some of the flesh inside. Yummo. This is one of the first street foods that I discovered in Thailand about five and a half years ago. Thought it was awesome then and it's still as good now even after eating it for five and a half years. It isn't particularly fishy. It's generally slightly crispy on the outside. It's delicious on the inside. It is absolutely divine and it's hugely popular here in Thailand because it is so tasty. The next food goes out to the sweet tooths. This is one of my favorite Thai pancakes. It's called Kanam Dangdek. I'm not exactly sure what is inside this one. It has some sort of orange jelly type thing in there. All I know is that it does taste good. It comes in a number of other different colors as well. There's green ones and purple ones. And there's also ones with the coconut. So, here you guys. It tastes very similar to a cake. It's quite spongy and, and quite light. It's also quite sweet. It's really tasty. It's not all that common in Thailand to find this one. So if you do see it, do try it out. As you probably noticed from the video, there are loads of sweets in Thailand. Thais definitely do have a sweet tooth. A few of the sweets are quite strange to Western taste, but there are lots of really tasty ones, and this is one of them. While I was buying this one, the guy was making another one. So it starts by checking the mix to make sure the consistency is right. Then he oils the pan. Next he pours the mix into the pan and spreads it. Then he adds flour. Sugar some shredded coconut, black sesame seeds, and then he covers it. Once it's cooked, he takes it out and it's ready to go. The coconut was actually really fresh. He had his daughter grating the coconut at the shop. These are very popular and very tasty. They also had a type of Thai waffle there as well. Alright, so I've got time for one more thing. I've done another round of the market and I've worked out what I'm going to show you for the number 10. This is one thing that I think you really should try in Thailand. They're a bit unusual, but they are very tasty and I do love eating these. My advice to you would be, try the bugs. These are crickets. Oh, Yusuf. So, these are fried crickets, 20 baht. Just gonna put some pepper in there. Spray them with soy sauce.
That's 20 bars worth right there. So to round out my 10 street foods that you should try while you're in Thailand, got these guys, crickets. They're always good in my experience. I eat them pretty often. It tastes just like a snack food. You wouldn't really know that they were insects if you didn't know you were eating insects. Soy sauce gives them a salty flavor. The pepper makes them peppery, quite crispy and crunchy. These ones are a bit bigger than a lot of the other crickets that are served in Thailand. They're a little bit meatier. Inside the body is a little bit mushy. Often the crickets that I get here are pretty dry and, and very crispy. There's a whole range of insects that you can eat here. I'm gradually eating my way through the whole lot. I have to say though, the, the worms, especially the silkworms are my favourite and also the smaller crickets. Do try the insects when you come to Thailand, they're definitely worth it. Thanks heaps for watching, if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, I post new Thailand videos every Wednesday. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye.